Why, why do we need humans more than ever? Our world has become unsteady. Frustration at the slow pace of social change has exploded in our universities. The past hangs over us like a dark cloud. Transformation, transformation, transformation is the battle cry. Young people want to feel that the world of the university reflects the society at large and not just the views of a privileged few. Curriculum needs to be changed from top to bottom to keep up with the fast-paced changes. And inclusiveness is demanded to ensure the university reflects the reality of all people, not just the powerful few. Think about how your research can change this world we live in. Make the knowledge you produce inclusive and relevant. Be part of transformation. Now tell me, have you thought about how town and gown look to each other? The residents of town and the university feels far away like it's in another world. It seems to be a world that can afford anything it wants. But what academics do is often very peculiar and mysterious. They set their own agendas and then follow them relentlessly. The gown on the other side. In the gown world, the gown world also brands town with stubborn stereotypes of backwardness, poverty and incapacity. The poor are often seen primarily in the terms of needing to be fixed through charity work. When their views matters, they are often asked to answer questionnaires to quickly generate some data for their research. If you really intend to include people as partners, your whole research agenda needs to center around this. Work it into your planning from the very beginning. Timing is all important. People in town are not sitting around waiting for you. They have their own lives and their own priorities. So it takes extra time to consult with them, be guided by them and to bring them on board. Researching beyond the comforts of campus requires special resources to cover not only your own costs, but theirs as well. It's not only about cash, but also time, effort and inputs. Be innovative in finding ways to make things work. Your research activities needs to be designed to include plenty of content time. You create the spaces and places for dialogue and sharing. And that ideas grow. So give them time to blossom. Genuine partnerships means everyone benefits. Sets non-academic targets that are meaningful to your partners. They must be realistic and within reach. So the question is, what outcome, what outcomes can your partners produce? You should know it's not all about you. Let's see how it works. The Isukumuzu Applied History Unit set out believing that art plus history equals to new knowledge. Isukumuzu means memories and the Kosa language. So we tap into what people know. For historians, the target of the project was to invite new interpretation of relevant topics and telling untold stories. For the artists who participated, the, the target of the project was to offer fresh content for inspired performances and new outputs. We found enthusiastic partners among the staff of three relevant institutions in town and then formed a project steering committee to help decide on each step. 
From them came a concept of calling our sessions imbizos. This is an indigenous term for a community meeting called by a traditional leader to resolve issues. Our Imbizo started with puts from experts of all kinds addressing relevant topics. In their own words, our participants showed that they were engaging with what they heard. I want to listen carefully and not be ignorant. We want to spiritually return through words and growing. I want to be in someone else's shoes. I can discover new sides of things and take risks. This meeting opened the door to my brain. Joint ownership of knowledge becomes evident through a strong sense of balance, cooperation and contribution. We had something different. We had, we, we had something that people were not expecting. The message, they got the message. When you learn about history, there are certain emotions that it evokes within. How can we move on now from this history and then try to use this history to actually move forward, to actually try to build something strong among us, to actually try and reconstitute. The processes of engagement themselves are a steep learning curve with no rights or wrong, just an evolution of levels of engagement. Joint ownership of knowledge becomes evident through a strong sense of balance, cooperation and contribution. The work closes the gap of social distance and set an example of town and garden. What kind of tangible outputs can you hope for? Be brave. Make a difference. Transform knowledge. It is up to you.